Uh, welcome everybody uh, to BII. It's fantastic to see you all here. Um, we are expecting a couple more people to, to wander in soon. We've only had one apology so far, um, and that was actually because uh, his wife gave birth to it during the night, so <laughs> quite a good experience, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to briefly introduce the format of what we'll be doing um, and talk a bit about a uh, paper that we did recently that you've received a copy of as well that I think will sort of set up the day uh, fairly nicely. Um, we have quite a, a range of, I suppose, disciplines covered here. We have people from ethics, people from governance, policy, industry, um, I'm sure I'm missing some government as well. Um, so yeah, it, sh it should be a very interesting day and I hope that we have some very uh, interesting discussions later in the day as well. So the format, as you probably already know now, we will have uh, chunks of talks, two to three talks in each chunk, uh, followed by a discussion session. So we'll have the, the talks immediately following each other. And those will be based around themes. So we have the first one on ethics, uh, second one on governance, I believe, and policy and cases as well. Um, you will have a copy of a description of the workshop, which has some discussion questions on it. These are also the discussion questions that I sent you in the original email that you would have received, and they're in any sort of uh, descriptions of the workshop that may have been going around as well. Um, it's our hope that basically these discussion questions will provide a platform to get things going today. Um, one of the things that we want to do is to explore the requirements for a EU uh, policy framework on the eth ethically acceptable usage of biomedical big data in research. So that's sort of the, the general topic that we will hopefully be talking around, but certainly getting uh, into detail on you know, theoretical issues, on things outside of uh, policy as well, certainly. So to get us started off, um, as I mentioned before, we uh, sent you a manuscript, I think about a month ago or so, and it was for a review paper that we did um, as part of the Ethics of Biomedical Big Data Project. And we'll be telling you a bit more about that project towards the end of the day as well. Um, in that paper, it's a comprehensive review of academic discourse uh, looking at the ethics of big data. And within that, we identified, first off, five general themes that seem to come up again and again in the discourse, unsurprisingly. Uh, informed consent and privacy are, are the top two. But then we also identified six other areas that we thought deserve a bit more attention, um, areas for future research, which have admittedly see, uh, received some coverage in the discourse, but not, uh, I would say, sufficient coverage. Um, some of the things that, well, some of your talks today will certainly touch on some of these themes. We have some on uh, governance, which, which will certainly deal with issues of informed consent, um, ownership of, of data, um, data access rights, and so forth. Uh, my talk will be on epistemological difficulties with big data. Um, Luciano, I think you touch might talk on, on group level ethics a bit. Um, and yes, I'm sure that some of these themes will look very familiar uh, to you and will hopefully come up in your talks as well. Um, <coughs> the paper is going to be published in Science and Engineering Ethics. I'm happy to provide anybody a, uh, a publication proof once we get that from the, the journal. Um, and we'll have a mailing list based on this workshop um, after we're finished, and that will eventually go out to the mailing list, along with any other outputs of the workshop, including a video recording that we'll be doing, which brings, brings me nicely to practicalities. Um, so for those of you that are speaking today, um, we are asking your permission to record your talks. Um, I sent around a <coughs> contribution form not too long ago for you to take a look at. Um, there should be a copy of that also in your delegate pack. Um, again, that's just for those of you that are, are speaking today. If it's not in there, please do let me know um, because we need to have you sign that before you leave today so that we can use your uh, recording. The recordings will only be of the talks themselves. They won't be of the discussion sessions. So we can be a bit uh, more open, I would say, in the discussion sessions. Um, but if for some reason you don't want your talk recorded, just come and let me know before your session, and we'll be happy to, to switch off the camera during your, uh, during your talk. Um, other bits, other practicalities to deal with before we get going. Um, Wi-Fi information, you should have a sheet in your delegate pack that gives you a code 
Um, or if you're on the EDU Roam network, of course, that will work here as well. Um, and finally, if you are speaking and I don't yet have your presentation, uh, please just come see me before your session starts, during the coffee break, uh, before your session, so that I can get your presentation uploaded onto the computer so things run as seamlessly as possible. Um, so yeah, I will. that covers all the practicalities. I will um, leave things there and then hand you back to Luciano. Um, who will be giving us a nice, nice introductory talk and, and overview and what's well, quite a good talk. Please find a seat there. <laughs> yeah. Yes.